What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool warped uh, parametric uh, walkway or pavilion in Revit. Now it looks really cool and looks really complicated but it's actually really simple. It's a simple in-place mass with a adaptable parametric uh, family attached to it so it's not a big deal to model but it lo looks really cool so I thought I might create a tutorial on that subject. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this uh, particular family or this particular model, check out my Patreon first link in the description. You can download all of my project files. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the uh, architectural template for this project and immediately we're just going to be jumping into massing in sight because this is all done as an in-place mass. So first I like to turn on the masses and or show mass uh, toggle button and then just go immediately to in-place mass. And let's just call it mass one, nobody really cares about the name. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to set uh, a bunch of work planes or reference planes. So you go over here and you select reference plane or you can use the shortcut RP and uh, RP stands for reference plane and just you place one like this just copy it so select it type in CO for copy or just go over here and hit copy and then you make sure you select multiple and then you go and copy let's go by the value of 5000 so let's go 5000 and just extend the the top one like this and then go 5000 5000 5000 this is millimeters by the way yeah, this is more than enough, I guess. So the first one, let's just call it reference plane 1. The second one, let's just name it 2. And you get the point. So 3, 4, and I don't think we really need 5 and 6, but let's do 5. Let's delete 6. We don't really need that many. Anyway, so we've got these reference planes, and let me just center them, kind of like this on the screen. Okay, and it's important that you number them, it's going to make the rest of the job a lot simpler. And now, just jump into the south elevation. And once you're here, you need to start uh, modeling the profile for this warped uh, uh, walkway. So, how do you do that? Well, it's actually really simple. You just uh, do one line as a base, but first we need to set the work plane, and this is why we named them. So, you just check here, name. Open up the drop menu and you find reference plane 1, you hit OK and you just place it like this. So this is just the, the bottom base and just go to uh, spline through points. This is the spline you want to use and not this one. Although this works as well but I prefer spline through points for these types of a warped surfaces. So you go ahead and create some weird shape that you like that looks like an alien form or something like that but anyway so we've got one shape now we continue on so we go again set work plane now we switch to work plane number two and we do the same shape but a little different so let's start from here to here and then let's go to spline through points make sure you select draw on work plane instead of uh, draw on face that's really important sometimes it might select a different work plane uh, on its own and it just messes everything up so you just continue on creating your warped alien shape so let's go like that okay let's go again set work plane 3 hit ok one line let's go over here kind of move it out of the way spline through points and let's go with something like yeah you want to have the shape that looks similar but it isn't the same or you can change it even more if you want but I don't want to make it too crazy Okay, so let's continue on, perhaps something, okay, I messed up, I draw on this work plane, I didn't set it to work plane number four, okay, now we go. So let's go from here to here, switch to spline through points, there it is, so kind of go like, I don't know, like this, perhaps. As you can probably notice, there isn't really any rule to making something like this, you just want to make it look cool. So go from 4, 5, and let's go from here to here. Again, spline through points. And the final one is almost done. Oops, I messed it up a bit, but don't worry. If I go into 3D, 
and I search for that one. As you can see, this line isn't really connected to the end, so you just connect it to the end and you're done. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, this one is way out of the, okay. This one is kinda repeating, so we don't need that one. Okay, so I'm just going to select this one and just kinda nudge it with the arrow keys a bit inside. I don't want this to be too crazy when it starts warping around. But anyway, you select the whole thing and you just go create form. Okay, something isn't connected. Let's check. Okay, this looks all right. Hey, there you go. So this one wasn't connected. So you just need to make sure that all of these uh, bottom lines are going all the way to the other side. Great form, and there you go. So if if it doesn't work, just uh, make sure to double check everything and. Okay, this looks nice. Maybe go to realistic. Ooh, that's so fancy. It looks it looks really cool like this without any anything added on, but of course we want to create kind of a mesh construction that's maybe wood or something. So let's create that. So you just create uh, so you just select the whole form and you go over here and you go to divide surface and you get something that looks like this. Now for the uh, here for the the, the, the V grid, uh, change the number to something like 30. Yeah, this looks all right. And for the U grid, uh, change it to 20. Now, of course, this may vary and you might want to use different numbers, but you get a point. Again, select this thing and let's change the pattern from no pattern to rectangular, which doesn't really change, but it's going to help later on. So now we need to create a uh, adaptable parametric family that's going to adapt to this weird warped shape that I really like. It looks so freaky and alien. Anyway, just go to File, New, Family, and drop back a folder to use metric if you like to use metric. If you like to use imperial, just select imperial. And you get this metric curtain plane pattern based. So that's the one you want to use. That's the, the template you want to choose. Open it up and you select this thing, this uh, kind of grid. And you can only select it when you select it here, uh, okay, or up here. So you make sure that it's set on rectangular. That's what you want. And then you go with set and you set this uh, work plane. You place a point on that work plane. You go again, set. You hover over this point and you select that plane and you just create a circle on that plane, kind of like this. Yeah, maybe make it a bit smaller, 70. Okay, yeah, and just select that point or that circle and select these green lines and go create form and this is what you want to have. Now select the whole thing, uh, go to filter, check none, uh, curtain panels. Let's see, how do we select the geometry? Okay, so that's what you want to select. So you just select the geometry. Yeah, I guess you have to do it like this. You can't go through the filter for some reason. But anyway, you just select the whole geometry and you go here to material and let's make it wood. So let's just go wood. Uh, where is that birch wood that I like to use for everything? Okay, <laughs> hit apply. Okay, and now let's just load this into the project. And if we search to go to realistic, yeah, that looks wooden. Okay, just go here to load into project and go into 3D. And you just select the whole mesh. And here where it says rectangular in the properties panel, you just change it to family one. And it this will take a second because it needs to kind of adapt uh, this uh, parametric adaptable family to the whole uh, warped shape of this walkway or pavilion or whatever you would like to consider this alien life form. Okay, this looks really cool. And uh, now uh, just go finish mass. Now the ugly thing is this uh, gray area and the way to turn that off is to go here to masking and site again and turn off show mass. Okay, and this is what you get. Now you can go maybe to level one and create a floor that follows this. So maybe go to floor, uh, start off with one line over here, maybe a spline like so, and you just kind of follow it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, let's switch to a line, go like this again, a spline through points. 
or no, this is just the irregular spline. Yeah, sorry. But anyway, let's just connect this here, finish it off, go into 3D. Yeah, this looks cool. And now you can perhaps create some camera views. So let's go to camera, place it here, kind of like that. Uh, let's turn it on to realistic, add some shadows. Wow, this looks cool. And then you can maybe make everything so much wider. And uh, you can go here and use this wheel, navigation wheel, and you've got this uh, walk option, as you can see. So you just go like this and you just kind of, uh, uh, just be careful, it can go really fast. So you just kind of, you can walk through this whole weird uh, skeleton alien thing shape. But anyway, so if I just look around to the other side, yeah, so that's what we have. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you want to download this uh, whole project file, first link in the description to my Patreon, you can get it, as well as all of the rest of my uh, project files so far, around 150 files so far. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.